There is a balm in Gilead to make the wounded whole. That is a bit of scripture from Jeremiah affirming the existence of a mythical, magical elixir, a perfume, an ointment, a salve in a faraway region called Gilead, which is very, very healing. I love the song, an African-American spiritual, I'm sure written by people who believed that healing in their own lives when it was written was also someplace very far away from where they were. And it's so easy for all of us to believe that healing needs to come from something outside of us, something that we need to find, something far away and almost unattainable. It's easy to believe that. And of course, there are ways that healing is hard to find. The word healing and the word wholeness come from the same root, healing and whole. And if you think about the word whole, there are two ways to think about what's not whole. One way to think of something that's not whole is something that's partial. So, you know, you have a pie chart and then there's the whole circle and then there's a half of it or a quarter of it. It's not whole. Or you can think of whole as opposed to broken. You have a whole plate and then you drop it and you have broken pieces of that plate. Two ways to think about the word whole, and I think healing is to be found in healing the misbelief that whoever we are, however we're living, we are partial. We're not the whole thing. I believe that no matter how broken we are, and every one of us is broken, carries parts of us that are painful, that suffer, that aren't working the way that we wish that they were, are broken. And yet, even in our brokenness, we can claim wholeness. We can say, I'm not partial and later I'll be whole when I'm all fixed. When that balm in Gilead from far, far away comes to heal me, then I'll be whole. In our seeking balms in Gilead, we turn to all kinds of things outside of ourselves relationships, beliefs, addictions, all kinds of things that we think will make us feel whole even for a moment. And yet we know all that they do is leave us feeling even more broken. So as we explore the theme of healing this month, and we will explore many dimensions of healing and what it means to heal, I really want to take time as we begin to affirm that each one of us carries within us the ability to heal, to heal ourselves, for starters, simply by naming ourselves whole. And the way that I want to do this is through a meditation about where we live. I don't know about you, but when I dream about my house, it usually means that I'm dreaming about myself the self and the house, the identity there of being in the place where one lives are often linked. And so as we think about the multi-dimensions of ourselves that we can claim wholeness and healing about, I'm going to invite you in your mind's eye to go through your house. And after this service, as you're in your house this week, I invite you at any moment when you are feeling like you need something from outside to help you to stop and maybe to touch your own heart and to say, I am whole. I am whole. So here's how I would imagine that. If you think about your house, generally the room that people come into when they come to the door is the living room. The living room where people gather where the public dimension of your house that interfaces with the rest of the world is there. So I invite you to see your living room. Maybe you're there, maybe you're somewhere else, but in your mind's eye to see it and to imagine what might feel healing in that space. What might feel healing in your living room? Maybe it's something as simple as vacuuming or picking up would make you feel more whole. 
Maybe it's getting rid of something that you just plain don't like. Maybe it's getting rid of a box of stuff because the room is too crowded. What would make you feel more whole in your living room? Maybe it's just stopping, looking around, remembering that you love what's in your living room and saying, I'm whole. In my living room, I'm whole. And as you center yourself into your living room, I invite you to turn your mind's eye to the other rooms in your house, your kitchen and your dining area, the areas where food is prepared and eaten. Those are the rooms where nurturing, you know, nurturing the body, nurturing the spirit, all of the care that goes into the food that's prepared and so many of us have broken relationships with that nurturing process. So no matter how much strain and struggle you've had about cooking or eating or your body related to food, I invite you simply to stand in your kitchen and say, I am whole. I'm whole. Or to sit in your kitchen or to be in your kitchen however you'd like to be there, but to use your kitchen as a reminder that you are whole. And then there's your bathroom. You know, the bathroom where we let go of the food that our body's done with, where we brush our teeth and look in the mirror and comb our hair and do all the things that we do privately, generally with the door shut, to make ourselves clean and smell pretty good and acceptable to the rest of the world. The bathroom, too, can be a place where we sit and ruminate about what's broken about us, what isn't working right about our digestion or why our teeth aren't perfect or how our hair looks bad or all the ways that we can use the bathroom to reaffirm that we're partial, we're not quite all the way there, I invite you to turn and say, I'm whole, I'm whole, right in the bathroom. Yes, I'm whole here. And then we'll do one more room, the bedroom, the room where we sleep, where our bodies are most vulnerable as they're unconscious, as we're having dreams that we may not even remember, as we often, the bedroom is where we are sexual with other people or ourselves. And so I invite you in the bedroom, again, with all of the ways that we can be told that we're partial, that we're not whole, I invite you in your bedroom, it now in your mind's eye and later during the week, when you're in your bedroom, just to stop and say, wait, I'm whole take a deep breath and just see about the healing that comes to you. We are all healers and this week I invite you to heal yourself, to heal yourself first by claiming that however imperfect you are, we all are, however broken, however scarred, however much pain you're in, still you get to inhabit your whole life. And that is a form of healing. Don't hold back. Don't think that we only want to know part of you. Don't be partial. Be whole, wholly broken, wholly healed in the brokenness. There is a balm in Gilead to make the wounded whole, not to fix the wounded, not to cure everything about the wounded, just to make the wounded whole. And this week, may that balm be the affirmation, I am whole.